Well, this is our first uh, morning on Dirk Hartog Island. Just came across on the barge about nine o'clock. About a 15 minute trip, maybe three or four k's. But uh, very pleasant crossing, water was nice and flat. But now we're down at Surf Point. You can see in the bay there, that's where we uh, came across in the, uh, on the barge. But uh, on the seaward side, there's uh, quite glassy conditions, but uh, a reasonable swell coming in over to the, uh, over this direction there, that's uh, Steep Point. That's the most uh, westerly point of the Australian mainland. You can see a fishing boat just coming in there, probably a charter boat, I would guess. So uh, we're gonna give the fishing a shot uh, at some stage. Got a gear with us, some beach rods and a bit of bait. Might try some soft plastics and see if we can pick up a few flathead. Yeah, the road in from, uh, from the main highway into Steep Point was as corrugated as I remember it 10 years ago. Uh, probably the worst corrugations I've ever experienced and uh, the only positive thing is that they're not continuous. You, only, you get sections of them then you get a smooth section. But of course you're hooting along at 30 or 40 kilometres an hour and hit the corrugations. Um, there's no way you can go at regular corrugation speed like 80 k's an hour. There's too much water on the road and, uh, and the track's a little bit windy so you just got to slow down and go over every corrugation individually. A little bit frustrating, but uh, took us probably, I don't know, four or five hours to get in here, taking it slow. Thought the truck was going to shake to pieces, but uh, we made it. We're on Dirk Hartog Island, but could be uh, forgiven for thinking we're on Mars. Just about there, mate. Another okay. Quite an insane place to be fishing. I don't know if you can see the people over there on the uh, the rock ledge there.
Here's the truck and myself at Whitnell Point. Cruiser's in there. And if you can see in there, she's waving. Afternoon. Indeed. Cheers. Cheers. This is just below Turtle Bay Lookout. Quite, quite nice, quite windy. It's been windy uh, pretty much every day we've been here by one. There's a uh, remains of a jetty down there on the beach and uh, looks like some old railway tracks running up here up where Teresa is to haul the uh, freight or whatever it was up or down the cliff. I've seen these all over, Dirk Hartog. Oh wow, that's really pretty that one there, amazing. Just rocked up to the uh, Dirk Hartog Island Lighthouse at Cape Inscription, built in 1909. And there's the oil store there and the yeah. uh, lighthouse keeper's quarters. Only a minimal amount of graffiti to be seen, which is, is okay, I suppose. None would be better, but uh, there's only a little bit there. Just look, looking out west from Cape Inscription. Some of the clam shells which are washed up on the beach, literally hundreds of them, along with other pieces of coral like this, and an assortment of rocks. And you can get the odd truza date <laughs> on the beach. This is a fairly rare, uh, fairly rare specimen. Don't see too many of these. So Teresa, what do you think of Urchin Point? Spectacular. Yeah, it is pretty specky, isn't it? Those waves are pretty awesome. This is the Urchin Point Hilton. They uh, obviously take safety very seriously. Two life uh, rings there. Some boys. Not a bad little uh, little shack. Looks like it's even been wired for power at some stage. Maybe someone brings a generator. There's power points along that back wall there. More power points than you can poke a stick at actually. Must have been an electrician. Bloody everywhere. Heaps of graffiti but uh, most of it's reasonably tasteful. Had to laugh at this one about the uh, Fremantle Dockers trophy cabinet below. And there's nothing there. Still windy today. And there you go. Wind blew the flies back to the mainland. Teresa and I were um, going to camp here tonight. We still may do that, but we're going to go and have a look at uh, the block and Mystery Beach, see if we can find somewhere to camp there, get us a bit closer to the barge landing for Sunday morning. Otherwise, we've got a four or five hour drive. Hi, Mum, hi, Dad. 
just letting you know we're having a pretty good time on Dirk Hartog. It's been blowing its guts out for quite a while, but that's the way it goes. Nice sunny days, that's the main thing. This is Mystery Beach on Dirk Hart Hog Island. A few people fishing over here on the uh, on the cliffs. They're not catching much. I, I don't think I'd want to go swimming out there. It'd probably be okay, but it's, uh, I'm, I'm a bit sus about the sharks around here. So close to Shark Bay, and uh, we've seen quite a few sharks in the past. I'd be a bit, uh, a little bit wary about jumping in the water. bit of uh, rubbish on the beach here, an old cray pot and some rope and I saw another flotsam and jetsam that's washed ashore and probably a bit of uh, uh, land based rubbish as well, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, we've just set up camp at Sandy Point. I'm not really sure where they got the, the name Sandy Point from. I can't imagine why they would have called it Sandy Point. Not a bad campsite. And not, not actually an official campsite. That's down the beach about three or 400 metres. We're uh, booked in here tomorrow night, not tonight, and we don't want to pinch on anybody else's campsite. So we came down here, and in actual fact, it's way better than the... Well, no, they're not bagging the other campsite at all. It's totally fine, but... But this one's every bit as good. Nice flat bit of ground. Nobody around, except for Teresa. But I'll put up with that, I suppose. Still haven't figured out what digs these little holes in the sand here. There's quite a few of them back at, uh, where was it? Um, just trying to think where we were camped on the, on the first night. We'll come to me in a minute. Anyway, we dug up a couple of these, went down about 800 millimetres and quite wide and couldn't find any evidence of any animal of any sort. It's uh, still a bit of a mystery. We, looks like crabs, but we're not really sure what, what they're doing or what's going on with that. I'm not sure if Teresa's doing some yoga there or scratching mozzie bites. I suspect it's the latter. And there's the mighty truck reveling in its own glory. So uh, this is our uh, second, second or, or sorry, our third last day. It's Friday and we're leaving, leaving the island on Sunday morning at nine o'clock. So we're camping at Sandy Point here tonight and then we'll have a leisurely drive down to uh, the barge landing on Saturday morning or, or on throughout the course of Saturday and then uh, camp on the beach there. I don't know if you're allowed to or not, but uh, it's either that or spend getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning and driving down in the dark, so we're not keen to do that. We'd rather uh, sleep in a bit and then jump straight on the barge and get back to the mainland. We've had a, a week over here and very enjoyable, nice beaches. Weather's been reasonable, if not a bit windy, um, but it's good to come over and see it uh, at last. We've uh, been men to do it for 10 years and we finally got here. So. I think you'll agree it's quite, uh, quite pretty, quite desolate, uh, quite arid in places, but, uh, but a very nice place. All. And, and the, the beauty of it is that uh, there's hardly anybody here. They, you can't just buy a ticket on the barge and come over. You've got to book your camping or, or accommodation if you're staying at the Eco Lodge first, and then you get a day each side of that for for travelling for your barge, so you can't just come over here and free camp forever. And they can, by doing that, they limit the number of people on the island. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, I know that the, the um, permanent population is, is, is five people. And, uh, and I'd hazard to guess that there's maybe 
I don't know, 50 people on the island at any one time, might be 100, might be 100, but there's certainly not that many. And uh, today we didn't see anybody on the tracks, so we saw four four-wheel drives at um, um, Mystery Beach, some guys fishing, without, weren't catching much, apart from the bottom. Um, but uh, we didn't actually see anybody driving today, and it's just really quiet, really peaceful. Nice place to hang out for a week. We just pulled up at the barge landing. We're going to camp here tonight and uh, catch the barge at about nine o'clock in the morning. And we thought we'd do a bit of fishing, see if we get a few flathead and first cast. Here we go. Not a bad size sa sand flathead. First cast. Quite impressed with that. Take the edge off it, you know. You that's, can't take the photo you want or whatever. That's the beauty of dirt cutter. 